Hey guys, it's Etan Sun here from Sunbros, and as promised, I am still hanging out with Greg Lee Gaming and Johnny Boy, aka Putang, and we are here bringing you guys the top five worst abilities in the game, and we're gonna start with honorable mention number one, Hilda. Hilda's second ability is called Sucking Balls. Oh wait, no, it's called Art of the Hunting. Um, she locks onto an enemy target, and she attacks three times. Doesn't really deal that much damage with them. Uh, I'm pretty, yeah, but I don't. It, but it, it like makes you skip auto attacks. I feel like she does yeah, more in auto attack. So it's not. I think you lose damage from this. She actually, she mm. actually does do more in auto attack. She, she has a base physical attack of 123. There you go. There you go. And then let's see her. The second attack will deal damage to target surrounding. So second attack. But it, let me, you guys. It's but a just single target. Don't on, get so. excited. It's not that big of an AOE damage. It's really garbage. It is one of the smallest knockbacks. It's, it's, it is the smallest knockback by a mile, but it is one of the smallest movement and pairing abilities I've ever seen. It doesn't like make you slow. For, like, it's literally just like you you, twi you're, you 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 might confuse it for your character twitching over or taking a step, and then it's done, and then you can just walk away. Like it's just it's just garbage. What do you guys think? It's got um, one redeeming factor. That's the lock on. But, that, but yeah. even that clunking. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. trying to do more damage, and the knockback is just way too small to be any significant. What does a lock on actually mean, though? Well, basically, it means that when you press it, if they dash, it still follows. It. Yeah, it follows. It's like Yun's, but like it's well, exactly like Yun's lock on. You can kill yourself with it. Like, <laughs> if you just dash under terror, she goes with a second attack. All of a sudden, she's under terror with you. So what you're saying is, put the pills down. Don't worry about making that news. Just. You kill the second ability and do yourself kill. Yeah, basically. I mean, it should be called Art of Killing Yourself. <laughs> 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 I mean, sucking balls, Art of Killing Yourself. It goes either way, right? So, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> that is the, the runner up. I, that, sh that could be number one. That's All of these abilities are just atrocious. Um, number two, this actually is probably not nearly as bad as the others, but we find it to be underwhelming, especially for the kind of hero that we're playing. But number, the second runner-up is Minnow's Heal. Um, <clears throat> the re Minnow's Heal is useful some for early itself. game for himself, but late game for himself, it's garbage. And, you know, in a team aspect, I mean, I can heal up more auto-attacking a single minion than I can with whatever the hell Minnow's getting in the flash field. It, it, it isn't. <clears throat> it's just a very underwhelming, underwhelming ability. I know it's a heal on the tank, but it is not a difference maker. I don't think. What do you guys think? It's the weakest heal in the game. By a lot, yeah. right? By a lot. I mean, it's 120, it's 120 for your allies. Yeah, you, you're not gonna go towards your mid tower for like for help for him to heal you. It's just it's not gonna be look on himself. Yeah, it's fine. Good. But then it's not it's not that strong. Like Bane's one will heal for a lot more to everyone for the same amount. Way Bane heals 600, 680 at level one to everyone. And I think that's a lie because I feel like I go into and start drinking some rum and I forget about my problems and then I'm full health. Like I don't know. It is just I'm shit. pretty sure Bane's heal at like max level is like two thousand. Um so no. <laughs> it's just, it's really nasty, but, um, okay, uh, Minnows is not, so Minnows, second honorable mention for worst abilities in the game. If you guys thought Hilda and Minnows' abilities were bad, <laughs> we're just getting started. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> coming in at number five is easily, I think, one of the most worthless abilities in the game, because it literally does nothing, uh, and that's Franco's second ability, <clears throat> which, yeah. I don't know, what is it called? It's called... Fury Shock, or as I like to say... Hey, was this not number one again? I kind of remember. I don't know, because they're all so bad. No, it's called Fury Shock. Oh, I'll, I'll I like back. to call it... I like to call it... A bit of damage. Yeah. Like, I like to call it, um, you know, Turd Stomp. It doesn't really do anything. Like, he stomps on the ground. Um, he just terrifies enemies. I've never been terrified by it. It is... It sounds okay when you read it. Like, it doesn't sound it, that bad. But when you see it in game... It's, like, yeah, it's nothing. nothing. Oh, no. It's really nothing. It's nothing. You've never, you've never said to yourself, "Oh, I hope Franco doesn't slap the floor." Me. <laughs> yeah, like he's hooked, amazing. He's all really scary, but you've yeah. never gone. 
Oh damn, Franco's got his hook and his hold yeah. down. I hope he doesn't slap me. And that's <laughs> look, honestly, that's one of the ways that I gauge bad abilities. And people hate this because people think it's an unfair way, but it is the best way to gauge it. How if I play against this hero and I am knowing in my head that that ability is nothing to me, like I just don't give any Fs, that's a bad ability. If I'm not worried about you casting it, like I'm worried about getting hit with so many abilities in this game. I'm worried about an Artaya popping up behind me with smoke bomb because I'm probably dead. I'm worried about getting knocked up against the wall by Moskov, and I'm worried about missing my best ability against Cho with the Shumpo, right? Like all that crap is terrifying. If I run into a Franco stomping the ground, I'm literally gonna chop his balls off and walk away. Like it is nothing. You just keep walking. You just keep yeah. you stop. Like oh no, I'm slowed for a bit. Just it's just garbage. But um, it's just that's all there what is to say should... about it. Like, what they should do is swap the damage from the hook to his stop. Like, the hook doesn't need that damage. That would make a lot more sense. It's, it's good that sense. would help Franco a lot, because he would do a lot yeah. more AoE damage. And I would, I, to be honest with you, and I know this may seem excessive, I would give it a very small stun, like half a second. Or a knock-up. Or a knock-up. That would be good, too. Yeah. A knock-up makes more root. sense. Give it a root. Like a mini AoE root. I mean, for something. Like a mini Something. Just to stop. Instead of a slow, just give it like a mini root. So, uh, even for one second. One How about this? Seconds. Let's rewind the clock a second. Let's give the Mobile Legends team ideas on what they can do to make these abilities less garbage. So, held the second ability, give it some real damage, not whatever freebie damage you gave it, knockback. and give yeah. it a real knockback. Because what, what I, when I first, when we remember, right when we first read that ability, we go, hey, yeah, it said it really because cool. of our movement speed, we're going to be able to dart behind enemies Smash and people knock them back yeah. into towers. Well, you couldn't knock somebody back into a tower unless they were already standing in it. So, oh, I mean, that's not even a joke. That's true. <laughs> that's true. True. Choke and knock somebody back from mid-river into a tower in mid lane. Freaking Hilda hit somebody in mid-river, and they don't even get near no, the border of the nowhere. river. They're like, I'm they still fine. I'm not even drowning. Like, I'm okay. You can't knock um, you out of a boat. That's how bad it is. It, and that's real. That's not even a joke. Okay, so that's good. So a real knockback. I'm talking like at least half the distance of Cho's knockback, right? Like something legit. And then Minnows, make it a big heal, man. Make it something worth yeah. a crap. 75% to teammates rather than 50%. That would mm -hmm. help, I but I mean, like, raise the actual is. amount. Give it at max level that thing should heal for like a decent amount and give it 75%. Make it scale up armor. Yeah, that would be nice. Scale is it up. a long cooldown, that, that heal? Um, let's see, it is... 12, 12 seconds initially. Yeah. Pretty long for a heal. I mean, all the heals in the game are pretty long, but you know. <clears throat> It's a shit heal. Give it a lower cooldown, maybe. Yeah, maybe a lower cooldown. Lower cooldown, make it heal more to allies, and just make it more overall. How about, how about just scrap it all together and give a tank a better ability? How about <laughs> give him like a, give him a taunt. Ooh, that'd be nice. A yeah, like an AI, like he taunts everyone nice. in. That would be nice. It's a very that'd small AOE taunt, like where he has to be right in the yeah. middle of everything. Because imagine so he, like, he stomps you on the floor, knocks you off, then taunts you yeah, in. That no, the opposite. He's, he taunts you and then stomps you. Yeah, exactly. Um, Looks like he's doing it. He screams at you. <laughs> All right, next. Okay, coming up at number four on the top five list is um, Clint. Clint's first ability, the Garbage Whirlwind. Um, so remember that we're viewing these abilities in and of themselves separate from the other abilities that a hero has to offer. Clint's first ability is called Blind Smoke. Essentially, you guys have seen it. He tosses out a little grenade and it's a little tiny whirlwind of smoke. If you're in it, it deals, or if you get hit by it, it deals a very small amount of damage to you. Um, and the basic attacks hit rate of the enemy hero and the smoke will decrease trauma. So essentially, you're going to miss a couple shots. It's, it's a it's bad version. Sometimes you don't even miss it. You don't miss shots. Yeah, it's only 25% of the yeah. yeah. so I mean, mean, you, you, you could actually stand in that thing the entire time and still hit all your shots. It's yeah. just a chance thing. They should buff it so that it, it turns to 100% instead of 25%. That's just that would be crazy. crazy. Natalia's is 100% on. If you want to do that, if you want to take it to 100% missing at a time, right? Then what you do yeah. is you take away the movement speed, decrease all together. Because yeah. then you got to give somebody the ability to get out of it. <clears throat> so like while they're still in it, they miss the first two shots or whatever while they're like getting out or they they don't quite realize they're in it's it or whatever. It's not that big though. 
That's the thing. Mm. Like you're saying, you know, you're saying they need the ability to get out of it, but Natalia's smoke screens are a longer, um, a higher movement speed slow is a complete miss, and uh, also it's huge. Gives her attack speed. But what you gotta remember is, damage. and it's like three times bigger. <laughs> no, no, I agree with all that. But it, but remember that you put that on ADC, and that's a different story. Like it, it would make oh it, yeah him yeah. by far the best ADC in the game. And it is small in in visualization, but it's bigger than that in the actual effects. I can tell you for the damage, I get hit when I'm like pretty far away from it, and I have missed mm -hmm. shots when I'm out, I'm like like clearly cool. outside of the visual. Yeah, it's like cool. <laughs> it's got yeah. that little area right side. Of it. But it's still trash. Um, yeah, I mean, so the way to make that better, though, is to make it 100% miss. Even, like, reduce the stun to, like, 40%. Or the slow, I mean. The slow to 40%. So you still have well, you could to get e out You could it. even make it fit, like, a 60% miss. Like, don't make it miss all the time, because it'd make him the best duelist in the game. But even, like, a 60%, like, that's really strong. But 25% yeah. just doesn't matter. Like, you miss one auto attack every four. Or none. Because it's chance. It's not like... When late game, you get two shot chance. anyway, it's not easy. <clears throat> it's not a guarantee. I mean, you could drop that thing down and not miss any shots still. That's the issue. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah. Even if it read like, you missed every other basic attack. Like, that yeah, would be way better. Because then it's a guaranteed, like, effect. Instead yeah, of like... Miss, yeah. You might not get crap from it, but you may get a lot from it. <clears throat> like, that's just dumb. But, okay. Uh, coming up at number three on our worst abilities in mobile legends is my second ability which is called reign of turds i mean reign of arrows um, <laughs> it just sucks it does no damage um, it's, it's it's only good if you're stupid enough to stand in it yeah exactly <laughs> we we talked about when we made this list i, I said okay we got to put reign of arrows on there because like if you're dumb enough to stand in that thing for the full four seconds and get frozen should probably uninstall the game. I know that it's all happened to us at some point in our Mobile Legends life, but every time yeah. it does, don't you just think to yourself, what the F was I doing? How did I stay <laughs> in that thing so long? Normally when it happens to me, I'm like getting a triple kill. And I'm like, I don't even, I'm like so focused on killing people, I don't realize that it's even there because oh, it's yeah, so it's insignificant. Huge. You just put a sort put it in a <clears> team fight and hope it's done to someone. Yeah. But it's so it's not like something even when it's happening it's, in a team fight, it's really, I'm not even aware really it's going on because it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't affect me at all. Even if I get stunned, like it's very low. The freeze is very low. Like how long it lasts and stuff like that. And by the time that it actually freezes me, I probably kill a few people. Yeah. You can. Well, the way to it's think really of it is, if you take it out of its kit, it doesn't make a difference to it. Yeah. It it's her alt and her um, split shot lock. Yeah. Vision shot. Yeah. You know, um, I I hate to say this to all the Maya maids out there, all the Maya lovers, but Maya's a hero that I would definitely vote for having a complete rework. Her rework, kit is yeah. just not exciting to me. The ult is yeah. cool, but man, could she do some? Could she do some really cool stuff? I mean, think about it. Like, I don't know. I'm a League of Legends player. I feel like Ash is a hundred times more creative than Maya is. Mm -hmm. and, uh, she is, she might be now. <laughs> she, she wasn't that exciting like that before. Well, she was still cool, but I don't know. I think that I think she could do a rework. And... Yeah, but Maya, Maya was like one of their first heroes, so you gotta give them a bit of credit. <laughs> True. Um, okay, so uh, Maya is Maya's reign of arrows at number three. Coming to number two is Ruby's first ability, which is called Be Good. It's called Be Good. She throws a wave forward that does no damage, and then has a very small um, teleport forward. Now you you could no, say no, well, no. The, teleports, the teleports are passive. Oh, that's it's right. Just, it's it's just the 50 this. points of damage to if you're standing right next to her, like auto attack range, and then another 50 with the wave. It it just does nothing. Like outside, of, if you take away like all these abilities are on their own. It's based on just that ability. So if you just think about it as 50 points of damage, that's it. That's it. Like, who cares? Absolutely. Yeah. It's You're just the two, the at most 100. Um, the dash is a part of her her, her passive. I mean, it's just, it's, as yeah. far as, it should do more. Now, what could it do more? We didn't even discuss what my ass could do more. It just needs to be reworked. Just make it, more. make the AOE bigger. Yeah. Like the way bigger and add the damage. You could even add the like fifty percent damage. damage yeah. Seventy first thing instead of fifty. That that that. I would say seventy five. Seventy five. That would be good. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have a little OCD and I like fifty percent. 
Yeah. Uh, okay, so for hers, I would say add a slow to it. Yeah. Even a, even a small, sure. like, 30% slow. slow. That makes sense for a kid. And double the damage. It does. Double the damage and give it a 30% slow. <laughs> something, for God's sakes, guys. Give it something. Yeah, it's slow. The only reason it's used in the game for reals, though, is because it, the little it's teleport, the so you can yeah. get yeah. to the ult. But yeah, to use, the use it for the jump. That's, if you use an ability just so that you can use a different ability, then it's I not think, a good ability. I think Tigreal's first ability does more damage than this. It does. Yeah, it it does actually does more? like triple or quadruple the damage. It, it actually, does way more. It's yeah, longer, it's and it actually like. And it slows. And it slows. Yeah, it slows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just check. <laughs> yeah, it does 350 takes does. It does. It literally does like six times the damage. Seven. Seven, <laughs> Seven. times the damage. Yeah. And has a 65% slow in that last two seconds. Holy crap. Okay, so do that to it, and then we'll talk. Um, okay, and then coming in at number one, as the worst ability, and everyone's going, what could possibly be worse than all the moves in this list? Well, I can't remember what it is. There's one, <laughs> and uh, there's one, and it comes from a despised hero of mine. That's not why he's on the list, because he sucks balls. Um, but coming in at number one, because it is even more suicidal than Hilda's ability, is Yunzel's oh, yeah. second okay. ability, which is the not the, the not the flip up, not the backflip, but it is the actual dash. Um, so, yeah, I mean this ability sucks. It, she charges the target, he does decent damage, um, lowers it's the target speed, because he kills yourself. It's literally. Yeah. Like, it, it can be used in a proper way that helps the team, but it could definitely get you killed very often. Like, he's yeah. an assassin. Like, he's a fire assassin. The last thing you want to do is charging people. And they so flick like under the tower. The and they flicker under tower. Yeah. Or you yeah, charge exactly. and they keep running they away. Yeah. Or they dash away or they teleport away or they do any movement ability. The next thing you know, you end I, up next to a Franco ult in your face. Like, I it's just, how many YouTube, out, how many YouTube videos have you seen where like he chases a car and all of a sudden he's like, oh, yeah, he's following it. Or he dashes at somebody who's backing and all of a sudden he appears in the other team's face dead. Yeah. Like, yeah. You people they should remove that. Thing. Like, that's been a bug for so long. Yeah. Um, is that supposed to be part of the ability? Because I don't think he should be following them for that long. No, I it's hope not. he does. Like, I think that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just a dumb ability, guys. Like statistical, it sounds good, but the fact that he can get you killed and you yeah. can literally just, okay, you know this person's gonna come up and try and dash you. So you just sit and then your gang comes and then it you let them dash you and they kill themselves because it, they're just dogs on you. It doesn't help that all Yun Zhao's are predictable and easy to counter, yeah. but <clears throat> it's just an ability that does more harm than good, and it's kind of a laughing stock of Mobile Legends, in my opinion, and everyone else's opinion, whose opinion matters. And um, it just it just sucks. Yun Zhao sucks. Tell you what, it'd make it sucks. really broke. I'll tell you what, it'd make it broke. Give it Cho's invincibility. No, I knew you were going to say that. Oh I knew you were going to go there. Guys. Uh, no, yeah, no. Holy crap, how good would that be? It'd <laughs> be crazy good. Heroes never die! It would, it would still suck though, yeah. because you would still have the same problem. When you landed, you would still get CC. Oh yeah, when you land, but you're not gonna get, but you're not gonna get wrecked before you land. What you're saying is that it would make, it would make for a much neater WTF moment videos. Yeah. It um, could be more hilarious. But number one on the list is Yun Zhao's uh, Charge Spear Strike. And that is our top five worst abilities in the game. Let us know what you guys think is the worst abilities in the game. And which I can abilities... hear the moaning about How dare you say that about Yun Zhao? That gets Yon's me killed. Yun does good damage. <clears throat> that ability has, like, at best a 1 KDA. Like, it gets you killed the same amount of times that it gets you a kill. Right. But, but, um, thanks it for watching. should be called Not Again, please. Not, not Again. How do you make fun um, <laughs> Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know in the comment section what you guys think is the top five worst abilities in the game. Uh, let us know and if you're complaining about why you think that we're wrong about stuff. And then we'll tell you how you're definitely wrong about it. And we'll have a nice comments about that. I hope you guys enjoyed it, though. Thanks for watching. And as always, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the videos with your friends. And share the channel with your friends. We always appreciate your support with that. But thanks for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.